Hello, everybody. Give this a like. Please like this video. Thank y'all for watching. My name is Chris. This is Cheryl Technology. Oh, by the way, make sure you click subscribe and hit that little bell notification. So every time I come out with a video, you will get a notification on it. Thank y'all. Let's get into this video today. We're going to be doing a video on how to install Pop OS. Because remember yesterday, I said that I was going to do a video on how to do on like encryption and stuff. If you want to do the encryption uh, on the disk. So we're going to do a full installation of Pop OS today. Okay, y'all. Let's get into this video. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you. Thumbs up. And uh, let's get into this. Y'all ready? Okay, y'all, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think we're ready now. So, um, I forgot that I deleted my camera display, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get into this. Okay, so we're going to start at step one. Step one. So, the first step, we want to create a new virtual machine. Now, now, if you look, it's asking me if I want to install it later. I don't want to do that. I want to do it now. So, we're going to go and find. So, this is where I downloaded it right here. Pop OS. So I just down went to their website, downloaded the installer or the ISO file, and now we're just going to click next. It's Linux. It is based off of Ubuntu, so we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to call it Pop OS. Of course, you can call it whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Let's click next, and I'm going to do um, this uh store on a single disc because i don't care i'm, I'm not going to be moving it to another place i'm only going to be putting it on this uh the place you see right now this is the i'm not going to be moving it to another machine i'm not going to be uh doing anything else with it so we're just going to go with this now next okay now we're at the final step now we're going to click finish okay let's see what happens okay you see here on the left right here how it now has a uh, Pop OS thing. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to click Play Virtual Machine. Here we go, y'all. I'm going to make this full screen. There we go. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a cup of coffee, get one. And y'all, I am making more videos. <laughs> probably way too many. But I like doing it, so. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah. There's Pop OS, bruh. There's Pop OS. Okay, now we're going to run through the installation process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the installation process. But then after that's done, I'm going to stop my recording so that I can wait until the process is done. And then once the process is done, I'll, I'll bring it back up. Okay, so I'm just asking you to select the language, select the country. Looks good. Or language. This is the... Uh, Keyboard layout, yeah, that's good. Default, sounds good to me. Now, there's two options. Let's go here. Let's click uh, Custom Advanced. Okay, so this, <clears throat> you can modify the partitions. You can break it up into little sections. You can do whatever you want. There is no limit, and it, you can do whatever you want. So we're, we're going to go back. I want to do a clean install, a clean install. And then let's select the drive, which is that one. Erase and install. Okay, so we're going to do, uh, let's just do test. There, that looks good. And then a password. Uh, we're going to do this right here. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Next. Now, remember yesterday. I got notes here, do a video on installation and encryption. So this is where you can encrypt the drive. In other words, when the machine boots, it will ask you for a password just to get into it. Then it'll ask you for another password to actually log into the machine. We're not going to do any of this, but just so you know, there is an option to encrypt the disk so that not just anybody can log they can get they can't even get to the login screen if they don't have the encryption password yeah that's yeah linux there you go that's why i like linux okay let's see so we're going to click 
So you do that and then set password, and then we're going to click don't encrypt because we're not going to do it. Now, here it is. It's now yesterday, this machine my dad bought me, man, is fast, and this went quickly. Okay, y'all. Until the next video. I'll, I'll go to the next part. Okay, here we go. Welcome back, y'all. It's Chris again, your host, Cheryl Technology. Thank y'all for watching. Okay, we are back with the the install finished. It it only took like three minutes. It didn't take any time. So we're going to restart this bad boy. And we're going to see what we can get done. Because I want y'all to see like the walkthrough, how it actually is. The whole install process. All of the um, things that it goes through, that it runs through. every All that kind of stuff. And we're just going to see how everything goes. We're going to look and see I, I love Pop OS. And I, there's also a part where, so right now, my screen size is 1920 by 1080. So sometimes when uh, Linux comes up in a virtual machine, you have to modify the resolution. Now, look, see, it's in a little window. You see that? So we're going to get through all this setup. We're going to run through the setup real quick. So next... Yeah, whatever. Next. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Next. Make sure that's Denver. Yep, that's good. We're just going to skip all this because we're just doing this as a, uh, like a test. And then we're going to start using it. Now, you notice the screen is in the little box. You notice that? So we're going to fix that. Right click. We're going to go to display settings. Y'all following me? Good. Yes. I hope y'all are learning something. So the refresh rate, I mean... It's 60 hertz, but my, my screen will do like 165 hertz. So we'll click the down arrow under resolution. See it right here under displays. We're going to click that, and then we're going to go and find the 1920 by 1080 right there. We're going to apply that. Keep changes. Now, you notice now it's full screen. So let's exit out of this. Woo, look at that. Yeah, that's Pop OS right there. This is one of the most snappy. And we, I've got a video on all this from yesterday. So y'all have, I mean, you can see, man, it is like super snappy. This is just insane. I can tell you this flash drive maker is one of the best I've ever used. It is the best. It's better than Blancha. It's better than, uh, uh, what's the other one? Put, not putty. Oh, what's the other one? I forget the name of the other one right now, but they, uh, I can tell you that's a better one. So anyway, y'all, that's the end of my video. My name is Chris, and this is Cheryl Technology signing off. Thank y'all, and know that the Lord loves you. Thank you for watching. Bye, y'all.